proof positive that Lake Harney continues to rise. This section of Whitcomb Road was dry yesterday. Look at it now. It's got six to seven inches of water on it, and who knows how deep it gets as you continue to go that direction. It has achieved major flood status, which is 10 feet. In fact, it's over that, but the gauges haven't been working all that well. They just know that it is a major flood. During Fay, it got to be 11.1 feet here, and the people living along Lake Harney certainly hope it never reaches that level again. It does worry us a little bit. We've got some sandbags. I mean, the sheriff's been really great about coming up and dropping off everything we need, and um, I, we don't think it'll get quite up to the house. Seminole County Sheriff did promise delivery of sandbags to the flood zone and delivered on that promise. Right now along Lake Harney is the worst of it. We saw people moving cars out of the area Wednesday. Soon it'll be trucks only, if not canoes. This is a resilient group with plenty of flood experience. I think we'll be good. We've definitely sandbagged the areas that were issued, um, but I think our barn is maybe the most worry. People will be strategic with their sandbags, pumps if necessary. Some will leave, some will stay. In fact, many will stay. Many have said it's a trade-off. The beauty of living on Lake Harney versus the reality of every now and then it's going to flood. It's flooded, the water could get higher, but people will stick it out if they can. Reporting Lake Harney, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.